Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palanipan Manikam. The biggest question on time-restricted feeding is whether we can skip breakfast or when should we eat breakfast. You know, people say that eat breakfast like a king. My friend Sarana is like eating breakfast like a king, lunch like king of kings and for dinner he eats on behalf of the entire kingdom by himself. So to understand whether this quote eat breakfast like a king is actually true, we need to understand how our hormones work. Let's dive deep into it. See, the most common question that I get is whether I can skip breakfast. But nobody is asking whether I can skip dinner because we have tuned to our lifestyle in such a way that dinner has been the most important meal. And I think that is the main reason for obesity and all health related problems. If we can skip that, I can guarantee you that I will not have a job. See, with all these technical advances, we shouldn't forget where we came from. Two billion years ago, so long ago that nobody even knows how long ago, we were just a single celled organism called mitochondria. We were all Rosa. So what we did at that time, this single cell mitochondria, we were at the bottom of the ocean. We were having a nice nap. When the sun comes up, we came up with the help of the sunlight. We were able to see our food like plant debris and we ate nicely. We were leisuring along the surface of the water as if we were in Hawaii. And when sun sets down, we went back down. We had a good night's sleep and we came Came up again in the morning when the sun came up as well this is what has been going on two billion years ago so then we evolved slowly one cell became two cell two cell became four cell four cell became 18 cell 16 cell that's why i took medicine then we became into a whole human body but we still stuck to the same concept of when the sun rises, we also woke up and when the sun sets down, we also set down. The problem is that now we are a complete human body, which means that we are changing the norm of life. We are active only after the sun sets down. Look at all these late night clubs, all the dining restaurants open mainly for dinner. The problem is during the dinner time, we turn all the artificial lights on. We have a heavy meal as if it is a poo medicum festival. A stomach, la, right, la pode, a left, la pode, a different. Mutton biryani, one of the ministry of food, la adam Veg biryani, vacha, who is the disturbance of din katharadu? With all these changes, we are evolving into a different species. Instead of growing vertically, we are growing horizontally. And people are calling God as Watarosa. See, the problem is whenever we eat, the stomach secretes acid to digest the food. In addition to the food digestion, the acid is actually damaging the lining of the stomach. We call it as mucosa. 10% of the stomach lining is damaged with each meal because it is an acid. Remember acid being poured on your face. It is going to irritate somehow. That 10% of the damage has to be repaired. So you need to give some time for the body to repair. For the stomach lining, it takes 5 hours. Similar to that small intestine, large intestine, your liver, pancreas all needs time to rest after having a heavy meal our body is like vadi velip my family total damage please yeah i am your best friend please give me some time to repair yeah so our creator is very very smart he is actually helping us in the repair process by giving us a hormone called melatonin when the sun sets down melatonin increases and this is the start of the repair process of all the damage that we have done during the day. Melatonin is trying to sing the Ile Raja song Raja Raja Cholanan making us sleep very peacefully but when we eat food we are trying to make our stomach into a Chola hotel. During that repair time at night if you start eating your hormones gets confused and you are actually waking up the hormones to make it work without their concern. This is the actual hashtag me too moment. So timing of our food should correlate with the melatonin melatonin secretion in the body. In our body, melatonin secretes around the time of sunset, around like 5 to 6 p.m. It slowly 
peaks at 10 11 pm and dies down slowly at 6 7 am when you are trying to wake up and it lingers around for one to two hours after you wake up as well melatonin is completely gone out of your body one hour after you wake up during the circadian rhythm of melatonin if you force your body to work by giving it food it will protest by not completing the digestion process it is actually following communism protest we should also follow communism if you are completely satisfied with two idlis the other idli should go to the other person Vijay dialogue. So when the sun is up, melatonin goes down, completely disappears out of the body. It takes rest and when the sun sets around 6 p.m., 7 p.m. in the evening, melatonin slowly comes to rise and this is what we call as a circadian rhythm of sunlight and melatonin. And the most interesting concept is if you look at the digestive hormones peak of the circadian rhythm, it follows the sunlight as well like a beautiful bell-shaped curve. It slowly starts in the morning, peaks up at like around noon or 2 p.m. and then slowly dies down. So if we can follow the same method, it would be amazing. So this will answer your question when you should eat the breakfast. You should eat your first bite after melatonin is completely gone gone out of your body which is one hour after you wake up let's say you wake up at 6 30 a.m you should not have your first bite until 7 30 a.m mainly the coffee I think our decline started with people who invented bed coffee. So as soon as you wake up from bed, if you drink coffee, melatonin will be so much angry on you. Is that how dare you can wake me up while I'm already inside your body still? It is like evicting Muthu Rajini using Sarat Babu. Melatonin is like Vidgadaya Unvalkai. So the answer is very, very simple. You just follow the bell-shaped curve of your digestive hormones. So you should not have your first bite at least one hour after you wake up and then have a light breakfast because your digestive hormones are slowly peaking up and you can have a heavy lunch and then when your hormones die down you could have a light dinner as early as possible so instead of the quote eat breakfast like a king i'm proposing a new quote so you remember raj kiran who is the south indian tamil actor who is famous for eating heavy meals i'm using him for this quote so eat breakfast like a cinema heroine eat lunch like Raj Kiran eat dinner like Raj Kiran's heroine because if Raj Kiran eats everything heroine will not get anything so the other question I always get is whether we can skip breakfast skipping breakfast is not a very good idea there is multiple research show that skipping breakfast might be associated with some kind of cardiac disease so skipping breakfast is not a very good idea but you can extend the fasting period as much as possible and you can have a very light breakfast following the circadian rhythm of our digestive hormones my friend Sarana Kumar is like I ate three dosa four Italy five chapati and one pongal with sambar as you suggested a very light breakfast that's one day the light ah he is saying, oh, I forgot the vadai. See, the whole concept of this time-restricted feeding is you shouldn't feel miserable. You should push yourself a little bit, but you should not feel miserable. So, it is okay to take breakfast, keep it as light as possible, and you can focus all your energy on lunch. My friend Saravna is like, what is life without a second show movie, a midnight biryani, and a parota with salna at 2 a.m.? He doesn't know that that parota at 2 a.m. is the actual end title card for his life movie. I'm very very curious to know when is your first bite after you wake up? Is it one hour after or is it one second after? Please write down in the comment section. So as mentioned before, I'm going to update you on my weekly progress uh, fat loss journey and if you think that you have gotten some benefit out of this video, please consider donating to Aishwaryam Trust. The link is below. This is a trust to help hospice care patients back in Madurai. So please follow future series with simple weight loss tips and the actual methods that work for me. One belly at a time. It is absolutely important. Lose belly fat with Dr. Pal. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.